Rules regulating the city of El Paso's email system led to a mayoral candidate's finance reports going unseen for three months. The city says the emails from Renard Johnson's campaign had been, quote, unintentionally quarantined due to filtering of political advertising. ABC 7's Tony Gutierrez joins us live in studio to tell us how the rules within the city's email system have now changed. Tony. Paul Stephanie, on April 23rd of this year, the city passed an ordinance requiring candidates for elected office to give notice of campaign contributions of $500 or more within 30 days of receiving it. These notices would then be posted on a city council agenda and are already a requirement for office holders. However, due to filtering rules in the city's emails, contribu in the city's emails contributions made to Renard Johnson's campaign had not been posted on the agenda after his campaign's emails were flagged. The city of El Paso says finance reports for mayoral candidate Renard Johnson's campaign had gone unseen due to rules in the city's email system. Something that had prevented contributions made to the Renard campaign from being posted on city council's agenda. This is what Renard Johnson's campaign told ABC7 about the situation. We have submitted 100% of campaign reports on time, as required by the City of El Paso ethics rules. The city clerk just notified our campaign that our reports were caught in their email security filter. Following the situation, the City of El Paso says they have now lifted a rule from their email systems. This rule flagged emails containing language linked to political advertising. Something the city says happened to the emails sent in by Renard's campaign. ABC7 spoke with Dr. Amber Archuleta Lucero, government professor at El Paso Community College, to get perspective on why campaign contributions are of interest to borders. I think there's uh, also an era of um, mm, skepticism in terms of our American political system. Dr. Archuleta Lucero says people are curious. In an American society, we want to know and understand whom gave to whom, because many times there's a reason. Sometimes it's out of the goodness of your heart that you gave to a person, but sometimes there's intricate details that are designed um, to make it complicated. The city told ABC7 the financial reports from Renard Johnson's campaign will be posted on the August 13th City Council agenda. The city also said the notations of campaign contributions from office holders and other non-office holders were not flagged or quarantined by the city's email system. Reporting live in studio, Tony Gutierrez, ABC7.